The man is kept on a leash, because he thought it would build up his pectoral muscles. He ate live snakes, drank scorpion juice, and ate pig's liver, with blood to practice kung fu. During the day, he must lift weights for 3,000 repetitions, squat for 2 hours, and train for 4 hours. At night, he is whipped 1,000 times with a fire whip, and sleeps only on a bed of ice. But what he couldn't stand was the 100 days of abstinence. His wife couldn't stand it and decided to leave. The man didn't stay, because something horrible was waiting for him. It turns out that Mike is a real estate developer and has a lot of money, but he's been charged with fraud and will go to jail in six months. Originally, Mike didn't care, but he heard that men in prison weren't good people. A guy like Mike would be a target for bullies. His best friend told him, you'll get raped if you go in there. And Mike was terrified. With six months to go, Mike decided to learn Kung Fu. While walking down the street, he came across an old man who punched a wall. Mike took the master home. Mike saw the Zen on the master's finger and wanted to try it out, but he ended up breaking his fingers. The master's method is also very simple. Correct the problem by force. Under the master's training, Mike's kung fu got better and better. Five months later, Mike had learned it so much that he could break a brick with a single punch. At the same time, he was able to train with the old man and learn it one finger's end. That day, Mike reported to the police station, put on his orange jersey, and boarded the bus to prison. Just then, a bald man tried to get the drop on Mike, but Mike pinched him and punched him so hard he didn't dare scream. The inmates soon arrived at the prison. Their first challenge was too much for many of them to handle. This prison guard was checking the prisoners' butts. Everyone was shaking, but this man was smiling. The Fans, why are you screaming like a goddamn little girl? Sarge, look, sweet Jesus. It's like an alien staring into my soul. Mike learned it Kung Fu from a master to avoid bullying in prison. Today, he's not afraid of anyone. The old inmate advised Mike not to get involved with these vicious people or he'd die. But Mike doesn't care and asks who the most powerful man in the prison is. This giant was so mean that he was the best fighter in the prison. No one dared take him on, but Mike wouldn't listen. Fuck you, bitch, I'll get you later. So Mike called the giant a big jerk in front of everyone. The giant, furious, stepped forward, gritting his teeth. Just as he reached out, they grabbed his hand, and the brick slapped the back of his hand. Before the big man could react, he received another blow to the head. He covered his head in pain, but Mike removed his pants. The people around him can help but applaud. But the big man is in a hurry. He immediately put his pants back on and prepared to attack Mike. Mike reacts quickly, grabbing the giant's arm and snapping his fingers. The giant cries out in pain at the twisted finger. Many people saw how well Mike could fight, and he became famous for it. Prisoners would run for cover when they saw him. The warden was impressed by Mike's courage. He took him into his office, handcuffed him, and gave him a cigar. The director's face was so devious that it was obvious he had something to ask. It turns out that he put Mike in prison on purpose, because he's a major real estate developer. Once the prison was closed, the place could be turned into a resort, and the warden could make a lot of money. He needed Mike's brilliant mind to help him conceive this project. Then, he promised Mike early release on bail if the resort was built. Of course, Mike didn't say no, he had his own office and saw his wife on time every month. Mike worked hard every day on his plan to get out of jail as soon as possible. Meanwhile, under his leadership, the prison went from being full of fights to a harmonious place. This man is in prison, but he sees his wife regularly. Other people eat little, he smokes expensive cigars and has his own office. In order to get an early release, the man promised the prison warden to design a resort for him. That day, the warden suddenly summoned him to his office. He wanted the inmates to start a riot during the management's visit to the prison. When management got scared, the guards would shoot to stop him. The prison would then be closed and a resort built. But how can there be a riot when the prison is in perfect harmony? The warden learns that the inmates listen to Mike the most, so he has a bad idea. He lets Mike return to his former chaos and then puts his plan into action. This way, Mike can get out of prison sooner than expected. So Mike calls all the inmates together and tells them to stop pretending to be nice. The oldest inmate seemed to see something was wrong and asked Mike why. Mike simply told him not to go to the yard tomorrow. Son, it's time to give management a tour of the prison. But Mike is having trouble getting his head around it, because if there was a riot, there was no telling how many people would get hurt. Over the years, Mike had become attached to the group. Mike changed his mind and ran out to tell everyone to leave. The inmates were already in the yard. The management was scared of the prisoners and the police had installed machine guns. As soon as anyone drew a weapon, the prisoners were eliminated. When Mike arrived, they were dancing. The warden, furious, orders his men to shoot. Everyone is infected by their joy. But the warden grabs the guns and continues firing at the prisoners. Then and Mike's wife appeared and knocked the warden unconscious. The prison was calm again. Three years later, Mike is released from prison and everyone can't get enough of him. The warden is now a prisoner 